Hi, this is Barbara with Fanbase Press here at WonderCon 2017 in Anaheim, California, and I'm here with the one, the only, Daniel Corey. Hi, Daniel. Hello, Barbara. How are you? I'm good. I'm sorry I make you duck down because I'm so weak. <laughs> okay. Daniel's very tall. Uh, <laughs> Daniel is a comic book writer. He has done the Moriarty series, which is why we're here and chatting with you right now at WonderCon because yeah. congratulations on the recent release of Moriarty Endgame to VR. Thank you. Thank you. We're very excited about it. This is, uh, this is the first, uh, this is the U.S. debut. Mm -hmm. You know, they had a little press event uh, about a week ago in Sydney, yeah. but uh, this is the first time it's really being out and used by the public and people are seeing it. We hit the Steam store mm -hmm. um, uh, on, it was at midnight Thursday, mm -hmm. so just a day and a half ago. Sure. So it's brand new and we're very excited about it. And I know we've chatted with our viewers before and uh, with you regarding the Moriarty series. For anyone seeing this for the first time and may not be familiar with Moriarty, what can you tell us about the story, the premise of the series? Well, um, Moriarty is a series that I uh, did with uh, with Image Comics. Um, so I'm the writer. Anthony Dietschidue is our primary artist. We also worked with Mike Vosberg and Perry Fries and uh, Dave Lanthier did logos and uh, letters and design for us. And uh, it's a, and it's an adventure series about Professor Moriarty from Sherlock Holmes. And um, you know, it's in a world post Sherlock world with Moriarty's trying to find meaning in life. There's World War One. There's spies. There's ninja assassins. There's steampunk gadgetry, and a lot of fun. Yes. So, um, and then we did a bonus story which appeared at the end of our, our Red City series called Moriarty Endgame, which is kind of a post-apocalyptic, almost kind of space age Moriarty versus Sherlock Holmes war. Right. And that's what the VR uh, has been adapted from. Oh, and you have partnered with Transmedia, which is an Australian-based company, yep. uh, for this VR experience. And what can you tell us about that partnership? How did it come about? And how has it led to this VR game? Yeah, so uh, Transmedia Entertainment, these guys, you know, I, 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 they're, they're, they're fantastic. They had such vision. They had uh, the know-how. And it's been great working with them. You know, I, it was about two years ago I, um, I got the idea for, uh, I want to do a virtual reality comic book. You know, idea got in my head. I started, I was tinkering around like in Photoshop, creating stereo images and looking at them on my phone in a cardboard viewer like a Viewmaster almost. And, I'm, and I was calling my manager, David, you know David up. And I was like, I'm calling David up. I'm like, David, I'm going to do a virtual reality comic book. And, and they're like, sounds cool. Yes. You know, let's let's uh, let's see if we can make that happen. Uh, you know, I, I went. It was just like when I started in comics. I went when I started in comics. I went to every show, pitched to every editor. So I started going to shows like the GDC and the VRLA to pitch developers on this great weird idea of a virtual reality comic book. So I met Transmedia Entertainment last January, January of 2016, at the VRLA show. Talked to them about it. Uh, we uh, emailed a bit, and then we skyped. I skyped with them back in Sydney. And it was like, this show was coming up, and like, let's get something together for WonderCon. So we did a, a very small kind of tech demo in, uh, in, uh, on my iPhone in cardboard yes. to show people. It's just like one little scene. kind of amazing. Your, it was thank amazing. you. Yeah, it just kind of got everybody's feet wet to understand what a VR comic was. Right. And um, there was continued discussion on how we wanted to do it, how we wanted to execute it. Right. And now here we are. We got a fully functioning product that's commercially available. Mm -hmm. And it looks beautiful, and uh, yeah, the transmedia guys. I could. Uh, they're they're so amazing. Yeah. Their talent, their ability, their vision. Mm -hmm. Every problem they had in creating, they, they overcame. They, they wrote their own tools to build this thing. It's, they, they did an amazing job. And it's incredible. You've got a lineup here of folks who want to give it a try, who want to yeah. see what this VR experience is all about. And yeah. you've really encompassed so much in this project. You, we were talking about offline that uh, you've got a, a score created for the project. You've yeah. got voice actors that you brought in. So uh, for all the folks who are behind us who are, who are checking this out right now, what can you tell us about what they're experiencing? What are they? What is it like? What are the headphones? What are the hearing, yeah. everything. Okay, so you put the, right now we're available for HTC Vive on the Steam. So you put that HTC Vive on, you are fully enveloped in a 3D environment. Yeah. They create a 3D environment that mimics the look of the panels of the comic. Mm -hmm. And then we use the actual panel art within the scene. Mm -hmm. So it's a combination of 3D and 2D. So you have a feeling that you're inside the comic book. Visually, you're inside the comic book. You can look around 360 degrees, up, down. You can walk around wow. inside it with the, with the room tracking abilities of HTC Vive. Yeah. And there's original score. Mm -hmm. uh, Jamie Murgatroyd is a composer in Sydney um, who did the original score, a very orchestral, gothy sound with choir and everything. Yeah. And there's ambient sound and there's voiceover actors that are reading the parts, almost like a radio play. Sure. 
and, uh, and everybody did such an amazing job. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. And it's uh, I mentioned it's on Vive right now. Yeah. It's going to be coming to all the platforms soon, like Gear VR, okay. uh, Google Dream, a cardboard. Um, it's going to be on PlayStation VR. Mm -hmm. So all the mobile platforms coming out in the next uh, few weeks. Uh, PlayStation VR will be a couple months, but that's coming. Sure. And what is the best way if folks aren't here at WonderCon, they're seeing this, they're saying, I want to learn more about Moriarty Endgame. What is the best way for them to do so? Well, if you want to check out the original comic, Anywhere fine books are sold, you know. Uh, Moriarty Endgame, like I said, was printed in the back of uh, Red City right. as a bonus feature. The main Moriarty series, simply called Moriarty, published through Image Comics. Anywhere you can buy books, um, Barnes & Noble, um, any your local comic store, and digitally on Amazon, digitally on Comixology, right. that's where you can get the original book. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the VR version right now is available on Steam. Uh, so if you're a gamer, you go on the Steam platform, or if you're new, go into Steam and register your ID, and uh, you can go, you can you can get the experience on Steam now for uh, for HTC Vive. Wonderful. Well, Daniel, it's always a pleasure to chat with you, and congratulations on this. This is super exciting. I can't wait to give it a try, and you should give it a try too. So again, this is Barbara with Fanbase Press. You can find more interviews like this one at fanbasepress.com.